All right, as promised, the wonderful demo of the Chromecast and car and how this stuff works. Now, a few things I'll point out. We have up in the corner, as you see, M45. That is what this Chromecast is labeled as on my Google Home. Actually, I have a separate area set up, one for the car, one for the actual house, because the house has all the smart nonsense in it. But, staying focused on what we got going on here, showing you guys everything working. So, just like with anything, hit cast, cast two, screen switches over, boom. And just like that, in car you have everything fully functional as one would expect, which is fantastic. No other way to say that. So we'll switch this up and go to a couple other things in hopes that everything actually works right now. So I'd love to show you guys actually seeing SoundCloud working because that's one of my favorite go-tos. However, SoundCloud's casting is a, uh, for lack of a better word, completely effed. So half the time works, half the time doesn't, half the time it just listening to music and all of a sudden the phone starts playing while you're playing on, on the actual casting, which is utter absolute nonsense, which makes no sense. So, just picking a random video here. You'll see, connecting to. As it connects, you get the little YouTube splash screen, and voila, just like that, you have your content playing on the screen. And it's nice because you can do this with both live stuff, such as YouTube, SoundCloud, iHeart, Spotify, Pandora, any of the apps that have built-in native casting. It's real simple, real seamless to do. Now you can also do your own content if you have your own media, which is nice. You may need to use certain things like VLC unless your default media viewer actually has built-in casting support. So really just kind of depends as to how you have it set up and how your stuff set up to work. I should say what you have available and how your stuff set up to work. So um, not all phones will have this, but I will show this off because OnePlus always runs a fairly stock Android. Uh, if you do have an and if you have a Samsung based device, they generally strip out the stuff for the built-in native casting So you need to download a uh, Mirrorcast type app. I ran into the same issue with my uh, Huawei P20 Freaking a-holes pulled the damn cast thing out of it, but it's native to Android But it's nice because when you cast from your phone You'll have direct complete full mirroring from your actual device And it's actually not too bad depending on what you're doing depends on if there's a delay So it's like there's maybe a half a second delay depending on what I'm watching um, however, what is nice about this is if you do want to have, say, your navigation come up, granted you will have to keep the phone display active, but you can actually have your full-on navigation come through and still listen to music and anything else. However, if you are casting from your entire device, you are going to deal with all the interruptions that come from anything. So whether it's text, emails, or other notifications, all that other nonsense is going to come up on here or interrupt the audio, which can be quite annoying. There's not an option just to cast the actual maps because it, they designed it to, you know, be using in your phone or your device while you're on the road, not, you know, casting while you're at home. That kind of would defeat the purpose of how Google Maps works, unfortunately. So, but as you can see, and it's like, I said, this is live with my other device right now that I'm casting on, but full blood, everything, uh, full fledged, everything from the device, you can pretty much cast and get right to the screen in the car so and we'll even do one more just to show so obviously let's get this back on the cast so just for the uh, argument's sake uh, and this is set up on its actual own hotspot again that the car has so this is the actual in-car LTE Wi-Fi hotspot so as you can see, solid numbers, fairly sustainable for no matter what you're gonna do. They say you need, I think, five megabit to get a uh, decent quality stream to at least do like 480p. Uh, so with this, you could stream full HD stuff with no issues and no worries. In my case, if I wanna upload torrents, I have great speed for uploads, apparently. So it really depends as to what you're trying to do and how you're trying to work your setup. Um, again, the setup for my car is, I believe, a six gig data plan. So don't sit in your car and do speed tests back to back because then you'll burn through all your data. It does actually use it. However, you do have a solid connection. You can stream just about anything given the app wants to work. So, but there you have it. Quick live demo with Chromecast up and functioning in the car. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask.